of the Holy Quran and for the for the recitation of Holy Quran and for the translation, we have Fezan Ali. Ah, uh, don't 
out with the days when we have fans that work with electricity. Electricity. What is this electricity? Elect electricity. Electricity. Through uh, electric, it was dear. Unfortunately, we do not have it right now. But what was it? With the help of electricity, we had bulbs in the ceilings. We had cool air from fans and cold water to drink in hot summers. Wow. Cold air. Cold water to drink in hot summers and light all day long? Yes, son. And we didn't have to even fan all day long. No, never. We had both our hands free to do our work. Welcome you all now to the Wake Up Pakistan talk show. Please welcome our host, Mariam and Yusra. Life without electricity? Yes. Indeed, a scary thought. Now with load shedding, we have generators and UPS to provide us electricity. But there is no lack. Can it actually happen? Well, it seems unbelievable, but... But if we keep wasting electricity the way we do now, we might end up like this. I agree. We are at such a stage that we have to think and act seriously about these matters. We but should benefit and uh, future of our coming generations. We should educate the masses to conserve electricity and be smart users. What do you mean by smart users? Can I be one? Yes, of course. Smart users are the people who use electricity sensibly and economically. We switch off the lights and fans before we, uh, leaving the room and I switch off and unplug the TV, DVDs and all the other electrical appliances during the night to save 5% of electricity. That is being sensible and economical, isn't it? Yes, to a certain extent. There's a lot more that you can do. Like what? Maybe all the family members can accommodate in one room and while watching TV and children doing their homework in one room? That would be being quite thoughtful. You could also time your ironing session after the peak hours, that is late in the evening from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Mm, and you could even turn on the reading lights while reading instead of, uh, instead of turning on the tube lights of a bedroom. Oh, you just said tube light? Haven't you switched over to energy savers yet? Oh no, it was just a slip of tongue. Well, I meant energy savers. So the first step for being a smart user is hmm, that we should If we use maximum amount of daylight energy for doing our routine work, we can uh, conserve a great amount of electricity. On the national level, if we believe in shopping during the daytime like in other countries, we can help ourselves a lot. Then again, if we use our ACs and splits sensibly on 26 degrees centigrade and turn them off when our rooms are full enough, then again, it would, it would surely be a positive effort. Oh yes, definitely. Then again, switching off the street lights during the daytime would be an encouraging effort. Uh, effort. Why not? Finally, I hope our audience must have learned something worthwhile today. Allah Hafiz to all. Bring a change in your attitude and uh, and make a positive effort in your uh, for a better future. Thank you. Let's see what they have to say. Hey Sundas, don't you think life is going to be terrible without electricity? Oh gosh, I can't even imagine life without electricity. Don't you can't even think about it. Don't you think survival is going to be so difficult under such conditions? Forget about survivals. I will literally suffocate to death. No air conditioners, no fans. Indeed, you are quite right. But what about the starless dramas? My mom can't even do anything without those. Then, she would have so much of time to scold me day and night. Hey, you are right. I won't even get to eat my favorite ice cream without freezers. So let us make a difference before it gets too late and manage in an energy efficiently. We should try using stoves instead of microwaves and to defrost and to cook. And try washing clothes by hands rather using those electrical washing machines which consume a lot of energy. By the way, Sundas, what will happen when there won't be any TV, there won't be any news, no media? My grandfather won't have anything to do. Who will entertain him? I don't know. Think by yourself. I'm stuck in my problems. What about that there would be no Facebook, 
chatting, I would be doomed. Oh. Guys, please think about it. Let us get our energy before it's too late. Considering the situation we are in, we will have to help ourselves. If you want, God to help us. Because God helps those who help themselves. Please give a serious thought to better the situation by following all, or at least some of the points you just heard. Mother Teresa once said, We ourselves feel what we are doing is just a drop in the ocean. But that ocean would be less because of that missing drop. Let us be the drop to bring about change in our lives today and in future. Then again, a form has been given to you to be filled and submitted on Monday. Students, this is an international competition which the school is participating in, having five students as representatives. We are all participants, so we must do our best and contribute accordingly to win the challenge. This should be filled truthfully. We are to take this survey very seriously so that we can take an initiative with a serious approach and thus lead us all to a positive change and be a prosperous nature. On the whole, so please be a part of our team and cooperate. One positive step towards saving energy. Thank you.